so there's only four things you need to do to make a million dollars. Four things, okay? And and I will tell you, I've made over a million dollars, you know, more than once. But so I'm not speaking from you know theory. I'm speaking from fact. First thing is you gotta have an ad, okay? It all starts with an ad. So when you guys are sending stuff over to me, if you're not running ads, if you're not running traffic to something. You're, you're just not going to make much money. I mean, the odds of somebody finding you based on SEO nowadays are almost zero. And I will tell you, it's like you could search Survival K food right now on your, your computer and we're going to be the number one result. And that still doesn't really bring us any sales. So it's not like, and you got to think about this too. If somebody searches Survival K food and we're the number one results, well, of course we are because that's the name of us and we've been around for years. But if they're searching survival K food, they already know about us. They're not going to search survival K food. They're just going to go to our website. So that's not going to do a whole lot of good. What you need to do is be found for products. And that's much, much harder to do because everybody is like, you know, trying to get like, say, survival food or emergency food or whatever. So, you know, we run ads. And that's what we do with my training, with my courses, everything. We run ads. So that's the first step. Next step is you got to have a sales page. You cannot, 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 cannot. Did I say cannot enough? I did say cannot, right, Jessica? Yeah. I did say that. I said cannot. You cannot run an ad to your home page. It will not work. Okay. So I hope I didn't crush anybody's hopes and dreams. You've got to have a sales page. And one thing I did not get is submissions of sales pages. So if you guys have sales pages now and you want us to look at them, send me your sales page. Okay. I want to see your sales page. Okay. Not your website. Your what? Sales page. And Bruce is saying something there, Jessica. I can't see it because if I click on it, my window goes away. What's he saying over there? Dead silence is not good, right? No, can't. I just got to keep talking and saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what is he saying? Um, he wants to know if you're offering any bonuses for joining Kartra. Actually, I don't own Kartra. I'm not part of Kartra. I'm, I'm just giving you a recommendation. The only thing we get is that's our affiliate link. So there's nothing really to it. It's just, you know, I don't get anything out of it really. Next thing, a site and see how I put optional there. You know, when I was in Cancun, there were people that I met down there that did not even have a site. You know, they didn't have a website and they were making millions of dollars. And the way they would do that, matter of fact, get this. I met people down there that not only didn't have a site, they didn't have any products. What? That's right. They didn't have a site and they didn't have any products and they were making millions of dollars. How were they doing that? Well, they would run ads and they would run it to affiliate products and they would build a list. They would get a list of people in, let's say, uh, I don't know, survival, or they'd get a list of people in, you know, Bitcoin or whatever it was. And once they got that list, they would send out offers to their list. A matter of fact, I met a guy from Australia. He not only didn't have a site, didn't have a product, he never even sent out content. The only thing he did was run ads to sell stuff. That was it. That was his whole business model. That was uh, Ben, by the way, Palmer from Australia. Really cool guy, and he's going to promote some of our stuff. So, you know, we get all wrapped up in, I need to have this perfect website. It, it ain't like that anymore. It's different. But I am going to look at these websites you guys submitted. So, you know, I will be doing that. And you need emails. Emails are super, super duper important. So like in my funnel, the first part of it, they put in their name and email to download my book. And what really happens is that a pop-up comes up and I grab their email. And if they don't buy that book within a couple of hours, they're going to start getting emails from me. Okay. So it's really important to collect those because most of the people will not buy when they first go to your page. And if you don't follow up with that 80% that didn't buy once they got there, you're missing the boat. So emails are super, super important. That's why I like Kartra because you can automate these emails to go out to them, you know. So this is a post I have running now. And you can see actually a little video and that arrow goes over. I didn't, I didn't load the video. But I want you to kind of look at it. And right in the beginning, it talks about, you know, this is, this is an open letter. I'm not quite sure what open letter means, but it works. And I guess open letter means it goes out to everybody. It doesn't go out to one person. But anyhow, I, I call out the audience of who it is. And the audience is anybody who tried to start an e-commerce business and failed, okay? So immediately I wipe out a lot of people, but this is a lot more targeted too. I'm telling you up front, this is what this is about. This is for people who tried to start an e-commerce business and were not successful. And then immediately, immediately I tell them, it's not your fault. They want to hear that, right? And it's not their fault. I mean, if they tried and failed, 
that can't be their fault. That's just something they didn't do right, okay? And we don't use any ads for ads. We use posts for ads, and that sounds crazy. But what we do is we go into our business manager. We go up the top left. We click on it, and you'll see a little drop down. It'll say, you know, post. And we actually put a post in like this one here so it doesn't look like an ad. And then we actually go into the ad, and we use that post ID in there. A lot of this training on ads will be in a course I have coming out called Facebook Ads University. I am offering some specials to people when that does come out. And I'm, I'm telling you, this is probably the most comprehensive course on Facebook ads you'll ever see. Uh, and it is the key. It literally is the key to making money on Facebook ads. So if you're interested in that, what you want to do is go to face. Can you put that in there? Facebook ads university, go to Facebook ads university.com. And there's a pop-up and it'll just say, if you're interested, put in your email. We'll let you know when it's available. It is not available now. When it is available, I will send you an email and we're not going to barrage you with a bunch of emails, but I'm going to send you an email, let you know it's available and I'm going to give you a discounted price. So if you've ever wanted to learn Facebook ads and that's been a problem for you, and I'm telling you it's a problem for everybody. It was a problem for me too, uh, but now I, I got it and I'm making money on it. it is, just go to Facebook ads university. She's putting a link in there and you can go there. And by doing that, you can, of course, sign up and I'll tell you about it. Linda's saying something there. Jessica, can you see that one there? Got a little dead air. We'll fill it with ums. Okay. So basically she's saying that the trend now seems to be that your homepage should be a sales page. The trend is your homepage should be a sales page. No, what you do, Linda, is you, you want to have sales pages and you want to have a homepage. So you want to have a sales page for every product. And I'm going to show you one in just a second. But you want to have a sales page for every ad that you run. And then you want to have a website. If you want to have a website that people can go to and browse through the rest of your stuff once they know you, once they've already purchased from you. Well, yes. But we, we do both. Yeah, we do both. Yeah, that's what I said. But, no, but I mean, we have some websites that the homepage is a sales page, and we have some websites that the homepage is a homepage. And then they what would be an example of that? We have so many, I'm, I get lost, but what would be an example of one we only have? For you, um, Ecom Road? Well, Ecom Road is in itself the product, though. So, I mean, it's not like we sell anything else at Ecom Road. Yeah. So, you know, we don't really do that. Anything that we have a whole bunch more products. You know, we do have a home page and then we have sales pages for it. So we kind of do it that way. So the first thing is that you got to look at when you're running these ads. And I know we're, we're analyzing websites, but I want to talk to you about ads because that's how you're going to get business to it is the offer. What is the offer? OK, now in this.
the checkpoints and bullet points here, what pages everything's on, as you can see. And this video is going to play over and over. Then I've got another call to action right there. Uh, it says send me the book. And then I, you know, talk about more details about the book right there and, you know, how to make more sales to the same customers. And there's no catch because people always think there's a catch. And I tell them it's important because time is of the essence. And this particular one sells for $8.25. I have another one that sells for $5.60 because I'm testing that. And there's another call to action there. What is that? Five? There's another call to action. There's six. <laughs> so as they go through here, then I have a little disclaimer at the bottom here. Uh, but basically, when they click on one of these, you know, send me the book things here, what's going to happen is a pop-up comes open. And I didn't put that in the video. This is a little video I made. A pop-up comes open and I grab their email and their name. Because if they don't buy that book, I'm going to start emailing them. Say, hey, you forgot to buy this book. Super important that you buy this book. Don't forget, you got to buy this book. So, you know, that's what I do. That's why these emails are so important. And if you notice, this is not your standard looking website. This is a sales page. Super important that you guys have those, okay? And it looks like Donnie has added a web page there, Jessica. So maybe we can grab that one and take a look at it. So anyhow, this is my web page and what it looks like. And, you know, I just want to call out a few things on here. We have too many calls to action right now. I was just talking to Jessica about that. But, you know, basically, I tell you, you can subscribe for free lessons. Okay. And it's simple. Yes, I want this. Free lessons. Done. Now, when you get to this page, first thing you have to say is, do you know what this page is about? So, my first thing here is helping people start, run, and grow online businesses. Okay. So, that's what I do. You know, I help people start, run, and grow online businesses. So, if you don't have a business, I'll help you start one. If you got one, I'll help you run it and grow it. So it's pretty cut and dry and you know exactly what I do. When I get into some of the examples of these web pages that were submitted, there some of them are a little bit unclear, okay? Now, I understand there's not gonna be total clarity if you have a mixed store, I get that. But it's gotta have some idea as to what you're doing, right? I mean, something that makes sense, gotta have that. So let me click my button here. And let's talk about emails for a second. I thought this was kind of funny here. I assume you're not replying to my text because you wish I would send you emails instead. Wish granted. So God knows what she's going to send that poor guy. You got to give a, a reason for the offer. Okay. That's super, super important when you're doing these. My number one came up before my number two. That was funny. That's cool stuff, wasn't it? <laughs> that kind of mixed up. You got to have at least six to 12 follow up emails. And I know that's insane. I was listening to somebody talk the other day and I, I agree with it. Like if, if they come to a page of yours and they don't buy and they, let's say they do a two part opt-in like what my book is, the pattern is two emails a day for the first three days and then four to six emails the last day. So it's a lot of emails, but I want you to think about why we send a lot of emails. Don't be so sure that people are even seeing your emails because you know, it happens where not everybody opens every email they get. And if they get 50 emails, it may get pushed down. They may not even see it. So if you send two emails in a day and you say, oh, that's too many emails for them to read, odds are they didn't even see one of them. You know, they may not see either one of them. They may not see it until the second or third day. So, you know, if you're afraid to send emails, that's insane. And I used to be like that where I didn't want to send a lot of emails. I was afraid somebody would unsubscribe. Well, the fact is, if you don't send emails, there's no point in having a subscriber anyhow. So you might as well send a lot of emails and, you know, make sure they're good. Make sure you got a good offer and all that. But, you know, sending one or two emails is not going to do anything. It just won't. They have to be time sensitive. So you can't say, hey, I've got this widget and here's the sale price. No, you got to say, I've got this widget and here's the sales price for the next three days or four days. You got to hurry. And then the next one's got to say you only get two days left. Next one, one day left. And the next one, you get 12 hours and six hours, four hours, three hours, one hour. So you got to really hammer you know, these people, if they haven't bought from you, okay? Because if they haven't bought from you, you don't have a customer anyhow. So if you lose them, you haven't lost anything. They haven't bought from you. And you got to ask for the sale. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to say, you need to get this now. You need to buy this now. Now's the time to get this. This is going away. Don't be afraid to do that. And I know, you know, we're all taught to be polite and nice and all that. I mean, I am in my daily, you know, business. But, you know, when it comes to asking for the sale, I mean, that's, you can't hide the fact that you sell stuff. You know, so many people are worried about, well, I don't want them to think I'm trying to sell them something. You are. You are trying to sell them something. It's exactly what you're trying to do. So it's okay to say, buy this. All right. And you got to offer bonuses. I think bonuses are super, super important. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you this. This is really cool. When I come out with the Facebook Ads University, 
there are several pieces of software that come with it that will help you run ads. How about that? How about automating ads? Huh? How cool is that? So that's also going to be available to you. So let's move on here because I want to get to these sites. So this is my sales page here for my book. And I've changed the book cover from the other one because this would work better. And I list all these things that you can get, you know, that go along with the book and what page they're on. So that's kind of an overview. And then, you know, to continue, you just click that little button right there. And of course, when you click continue, it's going to open up. You got to put all your information in there. And once you put all your information in there, I made this video, by the way, I'm talking over it. It's going to go to billing. And let's see here. I think I click at some point. Yes. Right here, it's going to go to the billing. And when it goes to billing, it offers them an upsell. The upsell being an audio of the book, about 80 to 90 percent of the people take this audio, which is good for me, right? But if you don't offer this like little bonus thing here, this bump, excuse me, this is a bump, not a bonus. If you don't offer that, then you know, and if you notice, I do offer bonus training there, it was right below the book. Can't back that up, but it was right below the book. Then they can't buy it if you don't offer it, they can't buy it, duh, right? All right, so let's move on to some of these sites. These are some sites that have been offered to us. So we're going to take a look at them. Let me get to my other screen here. I'm going to make that go away. Hit that twice. Go up here. Go here. Go here. There I am. All right, guys, this is the first site that was submitted. It's called Crazy On. I don't know what Crazy On means, and that's okay, you know, because there's names out there of different businesses. And they don't match up with whatever it is. Like Starbucks doesn't mean coffee either. So that's that's not necessarily a big deal. Now, the one thing I would say I like, I do, well, I like several things. I like the colorful picture. That's nice. I like that they do free worldwide shipping. That's pretty cool. I don't know what they do though. Okay. So I don't know what they sell or what they're trying to sell. I like that you can track your order at the top. That makes me feel good if I buy something from them. New arrivals may be interesting to me. Shop is fine. But the problem I think this page is missing is what they do. Now, I'm sure if I scrolled down, I would see more. Let me take a look here. And I do. It says, welcome. It says, they're dedicated to ensuring you get products of the best quality at the best price. There needs to be a space between that period. And we are always working hard to get you the latest trending products at irresistible price. I still don't know what they sell. Okay. I still don't know what they sell. I have no idea what they sell. And then I've got collections here. I've got car accessories, outdoors, and kitchenware. So I'm assuming this is a mixed store. I don't know if the owner of the site is on our call right now. But then I go down here and I've got makeup. I do I do like that there's, let's see, save $45. Um, okay, so I guess that's the sale price. It doesn't show a before and after price on here. And then I got featured collections down here. Now I get into cats. So this has definitely got to be some type of mixed store. And I would like, you know, if I had something like this, I think a little a video would be kind of cool to have there, you know, because this looks like kind of a cool little pet toy. This little, I don't know if it, it, it entertains pets or if it drives them crazy. I'm not sure. <laughs> Somewhere in between there. And it says you can save 10 bucks. It doesn't have a before and after price once again. And we got some pet hair cleaning stuff. This I do not like. Sign up to our mailing list. People aren't going to do this because people get too many emails. So what this should be is, you know, download our, you know, 10 steps to training your pet or download or five steps to fashion or, you know, something helpful people will give you an email for. If you're just saying sign up for our mailing list, nobody wants to do that because they don't, you know, years ago. Yeah. You know, if you did that in what, let me think of a good year that you could do. 1994, they would have done that, right? Yeah, 1994, they, would have done they won't do it now. You won't build your list doing that. So you got to offer something and it's got to be something of value. Okay. And then you've got your obligatory links down here. So, you know, it looks like a mixed store they're going after. And I don't know if, like I said, the owner of that site is on this call here. So the next site we're going to look at here is, and put your comments in there, guys, what you think about these sites. Just stick it off to the side. Somebody said it was pretty. Yeah, it is pretty. Somebody said they didn't understand what the, what they were selling. Okay, and I think that's true too. This one here is, it, I see this a lot with people who use Shopify. They have this huge white area and this real estate is the most expensive real estate your website has. And what I mean by that is your landing page for your website should, all this should be used. You shouldn't have any of this white area here. 
And it's nice to have a logo, but that's not the important part. Like if you go to Nike, they have like a swoosh on their site and that's it. I mean, they don't even care about their logo. It's all about their products. And that's just one example. A lot of them are like that. And you know, interesting fact, not to get off subject, but I'm going to get off subject. I read today that Mattress Firm filed for bankruptcy and they also, they bought Sleepies, they bought Mattress Discounters, they bought all these stores and they expanded to where, get this, get this, you'll love this. They have more stores in the United States than places to buy a Big Mac. Is that crazy? Mattress places. And I, I remember talking to Jessica one day saying, man, there's a lot of mattress places out there. How do these people sell so many mattresses? They're closing 700 stores and they go, they go, went into chapter 11. Now, why is this happening? Here's why it's happening. Because there's all these people selling mattresses online now. These squished down ones in a box you can get. That is huge now. Well, people are buying a mattress online in a box and it's delivered to your house. You open the box and this, this mattress just expands into your room, which is funny because they said you can always send it back. There's no way to get it back in the box, but that's what's hurt their business, they said. So. You know, online sales are hurting. And another story I heard today, which well, I thought was quite not today, but when I was in Cancun, was a lot of people were in the dating niche. And this things in the news can really affect your business. And almost all their business is wiped out right now in the dating niche. Why? Why is that? People don't want to date anymore, right? No, nothing could be further from the truth. Of course they want to date. The Me Too movement has wiped out a lot of these sites. You know, guys are afraid to even speak to women. You know, it's gotten to that degree. And, you know, of course, Me Too movement's important. And, you know, you got to re really, you know, care about those people who were, you know, uh, molested or whatever happened to them. But it's interesting how it affects businesses, too, you know, and how it affects the population. But anyway, back to the site here. As I look at this site, I, once again, am stuck with what do they sell? You know, I saw Santa Claus and I see a girl in the wind. And, and understand this is such important real estate right here. If I don't scroll and I stay right here, would I buy something? Is there anything for me to do? Is there any call to actions? And I don't know if it has a pop-up because I loaded the site earlier. So maybe it has a pop-up, but let's scroll down. It says shop early for the season, view all products. Okay. And, and understand some people celebrate Christmas and some people don't. Okay. So you know, don't get too wrapped up in like if you're in the United States or something and you're doing Christmas stuff, there's other stuff out there that you can sell other seasons too. So don't forget about those. We go down here, we've got creative clothing, we've got creative bracelets, we've got creative necklaces, and what is that one? Creative watches. So let's click on one of these and see what it does. I'm going to click on creative clothing. And yes, it's creative. Okay. Got some creative stuff here. These are obviously all stock pictures here. And what's interesting is it says from $24.95. So this tells somebody that they're not going to get any cheaper than this. So if I'm looking for a $20 t-shirt, I'm probably going to click off this page immediately. So let me just click there and I'll go one level further into this website. Okay, so $24.95, and this, actually, there's, that's the only t-shirt they have, is that one. But there's no before and after price here, which, you know, there's no savings, there's no value. You know, I think every price on here should have a before and after price. Because, let's see here, let me go back one level. Yeah, it doesn't say saving, it says specials. So anytime somebody shops online, they want to feel like they're getting a deal. So you've got to show them a deal. Okay, let me click on this one here. This is creative necklaces. Now these say sale on them, okay? But it doesn't tell me what the sale is. It just says this is the price. Is there a sale price that's lower than this? Or is this the sale price after the regular price? I don't know. So let's click on it and take a look at this one here. It just says $19.95. So remember guys, anytime you say you have a sale, you've got to show what the before and after was on it. And you know, I think they've done some good work here and here. This is pretty and all this. They do have a lot of description, which is good. I think that's super important. They talk about it being vintage. That's kind of cool. All right. Not really a sales page, though. What's Lisa saying here? People can eat a Big Mac every day, but they only can buy one mattress <laughs> about every 10 years. That's very true. Yeah, so eh, they got saturated, that market did. That's cool. They also do have uh, About Us. So I'm going to click on the About Us and see what that says. It says that St. Angel Land Creative, our online store is here to inspire, captivate, and supply you with all the creative art supply, wearable art. We are 
all expressive in one way or another. Discover an item. This seems very generic to me. Discover an item or items from my online store that moves you to your kind of expression. Yeah, I would pick some kind of niche there, you know, whether it's vintage, because they did talk about vintage in another part. Feel free to join our discussion on my Facebook page. They do have a Facebook page, which is cool. You know, I may, I may want to use that Facebook logo so they can just click on it so they don't have to copy and paste this. All right, so the next one I'm supposed to look at is Cranny Hole. Now, Cranny Hole has got one of these spin things, which is kind of cool. You know, I can put my name and email in there, spin to win. All right, I decide I don't want to do that, so let me close that. All right. And then we're at Cranny Hole. So in your comments there, put what you think about Cranny Hole. This is what you see when you get there. They did make that white portion smaller. That is smart. Does it say who they are? Put in the comments if you know who they are by looking at this page when you get there. Across the top, I see Pets Unlimited. I see Emporium. I see Fashion Sense. I see more. I see Order Lookup. People said they don't know what this website is. They're trying to figure out what is the background of the letters. I don't know. It looks like there's some hair. Looks like there's a lady's face right here, or eyeballs right there. Looks like another part of her face is right here. Uh, this should be a sale area. I mean, in other words, if you're trying to sell whatever you're trying to sell, you should use this area here for that, okay? It shouldn't just be a cool picture, which that's a cool picture. I love the picture. It's not going to sell anything, though. So when I scroll down, what do I see? I like the before and after prices. I'm curious why this one's on sale and none of the rest of them are. Well, there's one more that's on sale. Everything should be on sale, right? Having a sale today. What day do we have our sale? We have our sale every day, every day. Let's see here. It looks like jewelry. They put some jewelry stuff in here. They got a cat pendant. Fashion nonsense, maybe not, but it a place you can spend some time and put things on your wish list or just go ahead, get it. So the English in this is not good, okay? So if you're trying to go after the English market, this is not grammatically correct. You need to get that fixed. If you don't write good English, it's not a big deal. I mean, I'm not the best at it either, but you can hire somebody on Fiverr to write this stuff. You don't want to have this type of stuff in here. If you have it written this way, let's say here, let's see what the rest is. You don't think a guy would do that, do you? So that doesn't make sense. So if, you, if you're not good with English and you want to sell to a, a U.S. market and you have this, you're not going to get people to buy because they're immediately going to look at this and say, this is a foreign company and I don't know where my money's going to. Okay, this picture here, you're running into a distortion problem. We're squished down. Let me get back up to the top here, look at some of this. I'm gonna go into Pets Unlimited. So we've got pet clothing and jewelry, cat, or excuse me, cat clothing and jewelry. Then we got cat products, and we got dog clothing and jewelry and cat products. That's organized well. Let's look at the cat products. We've got one product here. So keep in mind, guys, if you're gonna have a category, you need to have five or six products or don't start the category yet. Okay, if you don't have time, you know, what, what's happened with this site here is they've, they've added a lot of categories, but have very few products. I would rather have a, see, what's, what are people saying here? Grammarly.com helps. Yes, that's a good suggestion there, Keith. Grammarly, you can go put your grammar in there and it'll correct it for you and you can use that. Dog on the cat page. Yeah, that's interesting, right? So the first thing I did is I clicked on cat products and there's a dog. So, and it's a dog product. So we've got that kind of unorganized there. So we want to get that organization done. And I know it's hard. I mean, this stuff's not easy. Let's look at dog products and see what we find. Same exact thing. We've got the same product here. And then we've got two other dog things. So keep in mind, this is cool. We just got that somebody just purchased this thing here. It's one of those pop-up deals. But, you know, it's better to have a whole lot of products in few categories than to have a whole lot of categories in just one or two products. You don't want to do that. Emporium doesn't tell me what that is. So I would want to be more specific here if it's electronics or whatever. And I, I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to encompass a whole bunch of different, you know, niches into one thing. But people aren't going to click on the word Emporium. They just won't. Fashion Sense. What do we got here? That looks like it's pretty big. There's a lot of stuff there. A whole lot of stuff there. Let me just click on one of them. Jackets and coats. There's 21 products. Okay, so this is better. What they've done here is they put a whole lot of products in there. That's good. But I would I would not have these other categories if you don't have products in them. Getting some comments there that some of the pictures are nice. Yeah, Got some pretty pictures. All right, cool. Let's move on to the next one here. This one here looks like a much better site. I like the way it's set up here. They have a pop-up when you get here, and it's offering something. This is something else you could do outside of a download. So this one here, they're more likely to opt into. Now, 
The one thing that I thought was unusual about this site is it's traveling pros with two L's. The problem you're going to have with that is most people spell it with one L. But, you know, maybe we're trying to go with a little niche type thing here and make it cool. It is all travel, which I like. Let's look at kids and babies and see what we find there. It's got some stuff in here, which is not bad. I don't know. Yeah, that's traveling. I guess you could consider that traveling. I'm just kind of seeing if they stuck with their niche of traveling passport covers yeah this is better because what we've what we've done here is we're saying we're traveling pros and we offer things like passport covers that makes sense okay card holder there and let's see they've got it pretty well organized now right here i went to travel accessories i click on covers and what did i get i got a protective cover good Okay, and I've got a protective cover and a protective cover. Let me look at one of these here. Let's see what I've got. Before and after price, which is very good. Got free shipping. I got safe payments. I like that. I don't have a lot of description on this product. And sometimes if we have sites built for us, which I think this one was, you know, you're not going to get a real long description. This is stuff you're going to have to add later on. But it does have the different sizes in here, which is cool. It's got all the different options in here, which is cool. So I like that. Travel luggage. Let's look at backpacks here. And I'm going to have to wrap this up here. I've got one more site I'm going to look at. I've got some backpacks in here, which is good. All, all these before and after pictures. That's very good. So that's cool. All right. Now we've got creative innovations here. Creative innovations does that. Guys, put in the comments if you, if you can tell. <clears throat> Uh, somebody says the last one that that pop-up they would respond to Lisa said that yeah yeah because they get a discount right makes sense a uh, good idea for a niche since traveling is more and more uh, difficult these days yes um, let's see here I'm just kind of looking through all this guys um, this one here has got home and garden it's got people sitting around on a deck eh, it could be home and garden now I, I looked at this site earlier, and I think what this one here is just to uh, drive traffic. So they built a site that goes to Amazon when I click on it. So it looks like everything is going to be affiliate links, but it's not specific. And here's where you're going to have a problem. I understand what you're trying to do here is maybe make money by having Amazon affiliate links. But every one of these things, if, let me go back here. All right, so I clicked on this one, and you saw what it went to on Amazon. This one here is for babies. So when I click on babies for baby monitors, cribs, and all that, it doesn't go to babies. It goes to recently reviewed or viewed stuff or products reviewed. Yeah, it just goes to Amazon. So I'm not quite sure how they're going to try to make money on this one here. But if you're going to have a box that says baby stuff, then it should go to Amazon baby stuff, even if it is your affiliate link. Swimwear, same way it goes to that same page. And I, I saw this video here, which... It, it's a cool video. Let's play it real quick. But it, it doesn't really say much. The hobbies and stuff, instruments, yeah, that's okay, but it's not really saying what it's doing. So, this apparently over here, I'm going to stop this for a second. It says it's a new shopping hub designed to keep you supplied with stuff, which, okay, that's cool, but when I click on it, it goes to Amazon every time. So that's this one here isn't this one here goes to a guy exercise. Yeah, is this a blog? I'm not sure what it is. That's the problem here. This here's a little bit disjointed. So I'm not sure what that is. A little confusing to me. But anyhow, guys, so keep in mind when you're doing these things, if you're running ads, you don't want to run it to your home page. You want to run it to a sales page like what I showed you for my book. Okay, and then once you've got that list of people, then you can email them these other product offers, these other things you've got. But if you're just doing this generic stuff, and I understand this is expensive real estate right here. So they're saying whether you're looking for great holiday gifts or just browsing online, we have what you're looking for. That kind of says you have everything in the world. And it's really hard. If, if you don't sell specifically to someone, you are specifically selling to no one. Okay, you need to be specific. You need to be niche. The purpose behind a general store is to test products out. I wouldn't put a lot of effort in a general store because you're not going to sell much from the store. It's just a parking place for it. That's all it is. It's a parking place to try 
out products. And then what you're going to want to do is run your ads, uh, specifically like the ad I showed you I did. And then you're going to want to have upsells, downsells, and all that stuff in your funnel. Don't get too wrapped up in a site. And I know that's what everybody does. They said, I'm going to grab a site. I'm going to put tons of products on it. I'll make a lot of money. It doesn't work that way. The way it works is by running ads specifically to a niche. That's what you need to do. Now, if you have any questions, you are welcome to put them in the box here. I've probably got time for one or two more questions. Lisa says it seems so random. Yeah, it is. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't trigger anything with me when I get there. Okay. It's cool. It's beautiful. I mean, they did a great job. I love the colors. It pops. It looks great. It just doesn't, you know, then, and then down here we've got geek love, hive IQ, HQ. It just, none of it. It's, it's all over the place, you know? And then I've got coupons and shop Amazon down here. So it's just, it's just too random. I think to where, you know, you're not, you're not going to get the results you want. And probably more work was put into this than my sales page. <laughs> Cause I just talked about one product and said, get it here. Here's how you get it. You know, here's what's in it. Somebody saying, should I do a website before I do a sales page? No, <laughs> you know, I would do a sales page first. A website is a parking place for your products basically. So, you know, a sales page is so important. That's why something like Kartra, once again, if you haven't gotten Kartra, I highly recommend it. If you don't want Kartra, we've got links in there to AWeber and you know, all the other stuff too, but Kartra is just going to do everything for you. We just recently canceled ClickFunnels. We canceled Infusionsoft. We don't have lead pages anymore. We don't have plus this anymore. We wiped out a lot of stuff by using Kartra. It's working great for me. I'm running my funnels through it right now, guys making money seamlessly works you know thousands and millions of people have been through it already so it's not like it's a new thing you should be scared of neelan is saying so would you take cranny hole down to a specific niche no but understand that cranny hole is not let me go back to cranny hole do i still have cranny hole no that's that's oh mm -hmm. there's cranny hole cranny hole is fine Thing is, you need a sales page. You need to lead somebody to a sales page. Cranny hole is something they're going to go to, Neelan, maybe later on after they bought from you, but you don't want to drive any sales to this. Okay. This is just a place to park products once you have a customer. So, what you want to do is pick a cool product and run an ad to that cool product, like what I did with my book. Okay. It's a very inexpensive product. You do a free plus shipping or something like that. You know, my product's either $5.60 or $8.25, depending on where they go to. But you know, some people pay me thousands of dollars because they end up buying courses, they end up buying coaching, different things, they end up buying continuity because they got good value out of that initial product. So that's what you want to do. Guys, I'm gonna let's see here. What is it asking another question here? What is the link to Kartra? And it's K-A-R-T-R-A. -R -R Go into the air area, Keith, where it says handouts. Do you see that? And in handouts, one in there you can download and it has the links in there. You want to use that link. And the reason you want to use it, it is our affiliate link. But you want to use it because it only costs you $1 to try it out for two weeks. So a dollar is pretty cheap. So just go into the area where it says handouts, download that document, click on the Kartra one, K-I-R-T-R-A. Don't use just Kartra.com because if you do that, you know, you probably won't get the special deal. You have a special deal with Kartra where you pay $1 for two weeks. Thomas. Hey, Thomas. It says, thank you for the great webinar. I am new to e-commerce and I'm trying to sell t-shirts. Is it okay to have several of them on display starting off or just a few design t-shirts? What you want to do is pick one or two or three or four and run ads to them and find out which one works better. But on the landing page, only have that one t-shirt. You can have it different sizes, obviously, but you just want to have that one t-shirt and welcome the family if you haven't joined the art of e-commerce success make sure you do that what to do with this email awesome i don't know what that means but you are welcome to send me an email or a question i don't know what that quite means we're going to head out guys we have a movie and lunch today we always take off a little bit of time on friday and i've been out of town for a while just got back on monday and then started working 20 hours a day which is basically what i've been doing that's an exaggeration but working a lot and if you're interested, once again, I will mention it to you. We have a Facebook ads course coming out. It's called Facebook Ads University. It will make you an expert in Facebook ads. If you want to, if you want to really make money, that's the course for you. Go to Facebook Ads University. He's also typed it in the comments. Enter your name. You get a special deal if you enter early bird type thing in there. And I'll tell you about it when it's available, which it'll be available in about 30 or 60 days. It'll also be on ClickBank. They are promoting it. ClickBank loves the course. 
also clickbank university justin's promoting it and thank you thank you for thanking us it's very nice of you wayne says has a good lunch have a good lunch and we're going to go do that now you guys have a great afternoon and i will talk to you very soon